Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9, brought to you in association with Bank of New Zealand. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news that fears of a Greek default are still driving international stock markets. European stocks fell 3% overnight and Australian stocks were down 3.7% late yesterday. French stocks, the CAC, fell more than 4% as investors are now pricing in a 98% chance of a Greek default. That was despite desperate measures yesterday by the Greeks who have announced a property tax of 10 euros per square metre that will have to be paid with your power bill. Meanwhile, US stocks actually closed up 0.6%. The Dow rallied 230 points in the last hour of trade. This is partly on a Financial Times report that Italy is lining up Chinese buyers for its government bonds. Meanwhile in France, Societe Generale has announced it will free up 4 billion euros of capital via asset sales and job cuts. Societe Generale shares are down 60% this year on fears about what a Greek default would mean for them. It has 900 million euros of Greek bonds, 4.3 billion euros of Italian, Portuguese Irish, Greek and Spanish bonds. It closed down another 8% overnight. Bank of America has announced plans to cut 30,000 jobs and to cut 5 billion from its cost structure. It still needs to raise 50 billion in fresh capital over the next couple of years. Its shares also down by half. And in Britain, new changes around the ring fencing of deposits and small business lending from investment banking could cost British banks 7 billion pounds. The New Zealand dollar up a little bit, 82.2 US cents this morning, and firmer against the Australian dollar at almost 80 Australian cents. The Australian dollar has really taken a tumble on all these Greek fears. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 90 at 9, brought to you in association with Bank of New Zealand.